Tifu picking up the wrong person from the airport and getting pulled over at gunpoint by the police. I live near a smaller airport and I help out at the local Turkish community center. I'm white but I go to a free dinner they do every other Thursday and it is amazing, so I chose to volunteer every once in a while. Set up, take down, help older people out, the usual volunteer at a center thing. I've met a ton of awesome people and they are a blast to hang out with. So last week, I was tasked to pick up an older woman flying in from Turkey as she was the guest of honor at a fundraiser they were having. I was told she knew little to no English and I wasn't the first choice to go get her. I was just the only one available seeing everyone else had bigger jobs to do. Give me a sign with her surname on it, her flight number, and a general description of what she looked like. Whiteboard in hand and a little hesitant, I set off for the airport ready to get my cargo. I pull up to the international gate and immediately an Eastern European woman standing all alone. I get out with my sign that says Demir and she smiles with great joy, points at the sign, points at herself and without hesitation, loads her bags in the car and hops in. Last name? Czech. Eastern European? Czech. Not much English? Czech. Can't believe my luck. I pull out of the airport and immediately head in the direction of the Turkish center with my passenger all buckled up ready for the 35 minute drive. About 15 minutes into the ride, she pulls out her phone and begins to rustle around. She calls someone and frantically speaks in Turkish. I'm thinking she left something on the plane or at home. I felt bad but I couldn't do anything about it at the time. I was driving in the freeway. 10 minutes later, I'm off the freeway and a cop passes. He immediately flips a cheesecake, lights me up and I pull over. At this point I'm freaking out and when I turn around, I see the lady has Uber out and upon further inspection, I'm not the Uber driver. The cop tells me to get out and I am taken down very fast, by a plethora of cops, handcuffed, and put in the back of a squad car with zero information. My head hurts from the slam against the ground and I'm fully aware of the kidnapping situation I am in. After about 15 minutes of the lady screaming in Turkish to the police and other cars arriving, an officer opens the door and asks me my story. I ask him to use my phone to contact the Turkish center and the lead woman comes down to explain what happened. Little did I know Demir is one of the most common surnames in all of Turkey. So when the lady her first trip to America America, see that I have her name. She figures I'm the Uber driver ready to pick her up. She knows how to use Google Maps and saw we were headed in the opposite direction of her intended destination. My heart is still going 10,000 beats a minute while another car with a friend from the center and what could be the real Demir pulls up. After a discussion that I'm not a part of takes place, the cops get me out of the car, unhandcuff me and everyone, including the kidnapped woman, seems to be laughing. Except me. I'm in disbelief as of to what just happened and I definitely sweated through my entire outfit. We get back to the Turkish center and the story spread like wildfire. Everyone comes up to me with a hug, a laugh, and a drink. I got drunk drunk. TL, doctor by picking up the wrong woman and getting arrested for kidnapping. First names count, people. Dot. It, detained, not arrested. Also, talking with Turks, they all have varying degrees of where the country resides. Eastern is too white, middle is bad in America, so most of them just say they are from Turkey. They didn't give you her first name, especially knowing that the surname is extremely common. They told me but the woman who helped me only wrote the last name. I was too relieved to have a match, I didn't care. I've taken Ubers in many countries. They never had a whiteboard with my name and waiting for me inside the airport. They were always waiting in their car. This was my issue. Until she someone interpreted that she just downloaded it and it was her first time. She was probably 50. This sounds a lot more like it today everyone else banana up to me. Finally a tifu that doesn't involve bodily fluids or accidental coconut. I'm not sure but I could have let a little out I was so scared. This reminds me of the new girl episode where Nick was supposed to pick up Cece's mom but instead picks up another one. This was the immediate thing two women came up to me and said. I haven't seen new girl but I definitely went on Netflix and watched it. Tifu by leaving a suicide note before running outside. Okay so the obligatory this happened a few months back. A little backstory. I have dealt with severe depression and suicidal thoughts, 
have a few, obviously, unsuccessful attempts. Good news, I'm better now and I laugh about it. I was better back then too. Also worth mentioning I'm into writing short stories and currently a novel. So back to the butternut up. A short story I was writing back then started off with a 15 year old girl finding a suicide letter dated 10 years into the future, and is in her own handwriting. I bet you can see where this is going. So I start drafting the letter and before I finish it with the dating and stuff I get a call from my friend saying she is around and wants to talk, so I get out saying very little to my mom. After leaving in a hurry and staying outside for a few hours my mom gets worried and calls me. Shocker I left my phone at home. It's really not a rare thing for me to do. It's rare I take it with me unless I'm going to school or a date or something. She goes into my room and sees my suicide note. She gets scared and calls my dad. Soon after, my family is driving around looking for me. I walk back home and to my surprise there is police cars and my parents are crying. After a quick explaining and a few hours of scolding everything was fine but I felt terrible for putting my parents through that fear again. TL, doctor me, a previously suicidal teen, writes a suicide letter for a short story, then leaves the house in a hurry, parents call the cops thinking I killed myself, I show up eating ice cream and get scolded. Generally felt terrible. Edit, wow a lot of you want to read the horrible piece of fiction I wrote back then, I can't find the original story but I'll try to rewrite from memory in the morning. Edit 2, ah yes the good old severe suicide. Oh, man, that's harsh. All I can say is that I'm glad you got out of the depressions, and are doing better now. Smile. Yup I'm good as new right now albeit a bit dependent on medication. Glad you're through it. If you don't mind me asking, what did help you through it? Asking for a friend. Edit, I really want to thank everyone for replying to me. I've been happy crying for some time right now, seeing everyone suggest things and give me advice has just made me feel sa sort of happiness I've not felt in a while. Thank you. Thanks to the person who didn't me you're an incredible person and I appreciate you taking time to message me. Thanks friends. Coconut. I too, am a fan of Kendrick Lamar. My college roommate left me a suicide note and then went to class. This was pre-cell phone so I had no way to contact her. I had to go to the RA who then got her schedule and two other RAs went to my roommate's classroom. They found her and pulled her out of class. She was required to go to mandatory counseling. I had to go once as well to pass along what was going on that I was aware of so that the counselor had something to work with. He probably wanted to make sure I was okay as well. Freaked me the duck out. I don't remember if she ever apologized over that. It's a tough subject to be honest. When I wrote suicide notes for real, after I didn't succeed I felt awful about them and just pretended they didn't exist so that might be one reason. Also props to you for looking after her and going to the RA. If my friends hadn't notified my teachers about my state of mind, they wouldn't pressure my parents into taking me to therapy and I wouldn't be here. That's a push in the right direction even if she doesn't see it that way. Tifu by running with the school flag, tripping, and destroying the state championship trophy in front of the whole school. So the mess up happened yesterday and I'm still saying oh my god to myself every time I think about it. This past Saturday our school's girls cross country team won state and because of that earned everyone a pep rally. The night before someone asked if anyone wanted to be the flag runner and I happily volunteered, because that's a super dope job. Well here is exactly what went wrong. The pep rally is in motion. The cross country team starts pouring down from the stands to lead a school cheer. This is exactly when you should do a flag run, so I start hauling out and narrowly avoid plowing one girl and make my way around the crowd, definitely wouldn't recommend to a friend now though. I am caught up in the buzz of the moment and then all of a sudden I'm going down hard. All that is going through my head is siren noises and me thinking I should just die now but unfortunately that never came to fruition and it got worse as I saw what I had tripped on and destroyed, the state trophy we just won and the one from last year. Now I'm a bit more famous around the school and kids keep seeing me in the hallway and saying OMG. You're the kid who broke the trophy. R.I.P. me. T.L. Doctor I was the flag runner and I tripped over and destroyed two state trophies in front of the whole school. Edit, thanks for the gold. That makes it all worth it, sort of. 
Just a bit of extra info, the trophies have been repaired with tender, sweet words and some wood glue. Edit 2, wow 5 gold I'm willing to destroy another trophy, if it nets me 5 more. LMFAO, oh wow, so many props for posting that video. Thank you. Video is the best part. Tifu, now with cringeworthy video evidence. I love that the teacher comes up pats on you on the back like kiddo you just button it up but it's okay don't worry props to him for not going off on you. Ha <laughs> actually that's our principal and your props to him for not chewing me out. Wow. While the video is hysterical, pretty sure the trophy cost less to put together than this comment. It should be back in no time. Bold post. Well done. P. S. Or I don't know him personally but I'm sure he wasn't trying to be mean. Just having a laugh with some of his friends. Don't worry, I'm sure the kids in school will all soon forget about this instance, especially now that it's making its way around the internet. R.I.P. Op. Just like everyone forgot about that time you couldn't even spell your own name right.